Connect your headphones. You're listening to Nick's Moon Reads. Enjoy. 101.3. This fever isn't going down. Hey, 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 don't move. I'm serious, baby. You're sick. You need to rest. What do you want? You want water? Food? I can go get that for you. I know you're bored, but you need to give your body a chance to rest. I'm treating you like a child because you're acting like one. Now don't move, okay? I'm gonna go grab some Advil. I can hear you moving in there. Lay back down. Baby girl? What was that? Are you okay? Baby! Shit! Shit, she's faded! Babe, hey, hey, can you hear me? Come on, come on, wake up! You're scaring me, babe, please! Hey, 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 there you are! There you are! No, no, don't move. It's okay, babe. You just fainted. Don't move, I'm serious. Look, I'm making an executive decision here. We're going to the hospital. I know, I know, you said you didn't want to go. But you need to. It's okay, baby. It. Hey, hey, no, don't cry. No, no. No, no, I'm not going to leave you. No. I'll be right there by your side. I promise. Shh, there, there. Okay, it's okay. It's all right, all right? I've got you. No, I'm not going anywhere, all right? I'm just going to call for some help. All right? Hi, it's my girlfriend. She's had a fever, and it spiked, and she just fainted. Yeah, I can stay on the line. Hey, it's okay. They're sending help now, all right? Hey, 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 keep those eyes open, you hear me? You can't go to sleep yet. No, b hey, baby, focus on me. There you are. Talk to me, baby. What do you want to do when you're better? Anything. Just think of anything under the sun, okay? Watching the Five Nights at Freddy's movie? Yeah, that would that's going to be a fun date. But think of something that you can do immediately after you're better. Something that you don't have to wait a month for. Getting ice cream? We can totally do that. I would be so down for that. We could hit the ice cream shop that's just down the street. Yeah, I'm doing my best to keep her awake. How close are they? They're here? Okay, thank you very much. Okay, they're here. It's okay, babe. It's gonna be okay, all right? Just stay awake. You stay awake, all right? I'm gonna go get the door. I'll be right back. Hi, yeah, I'm her boyfriend. She's in here. Follow me. Here she is. It's okay, baby. Hey, they're not going to hurt you. They're here to help you. I'm going with you, just like I promised. I'll hold your hand the entire time. I'm not going anywhere, okay? Baby? No, 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 don't you do that. Don't you close your eyes. Keep them open. Wait, 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 wait. What's wrong with her? What's wrong with her? Is she going to be okay? Please tell me. Is she going to be okay? Hey, baby. You, uh, you doing all right? Who am I kidding? Why did I even ask that? You're not even awake. Damn it, this, this really freaking sucks. I, I, I can't even talk to you and you're right here. The doctor said though that there's a possibility that you can hear me while I'm talking to you, so I'm gonna go off of what little hope I have from that. If you can hear me, I wanted to say 
that I'm sorry for how I was talking to you before you ended up like this. I was being way too harsh, and I just, you were being stubborn, and I wanted what was best for you. I didn't want you to make yourself feel worse than you already were. And I just hated seeing you on the ground like that. You're getting better, at least I hope. Just know that I am so sorry for how I spoke to you. I'm so sorry if I came off as threatening or if I came off as a, as an asshole. You're the, you are so important to me. And you are so loved. You hear me? So if you're scared in there, Please understand, though, that you are so loved and I love you more than words could ever describe. And I am so, so sorry for how I spoke to you. I don't hate you. I could never hate you. Ever. I... No, no tears. No crying. Not yet. You always like to cry with me. So I'm gonna hold back and wait till you're awake. For you. Baby? Baby, you with me? Hey there. There you are. How do you feel? Like shit, huh? Little drowsy? Yeah, well, they've got you hooked up to a bunch of meds. I look like shit, too. Five o'clock shadow? Yeah, well, um, it's kind of hard to get any form of sleep when the love of your life is in the back of an ambulance unconscious. Do you remember anything before you passed out? Yeah, you passed out. I'm going to assume that you asking that question is going to answer my previous question. You don't remember anything? It's all right, because I remember every second of it, unfortunately. It's going to be hard to forget it. Actually, I don't think I will forget what happened. Okay, okay. All right. I'll tell you what happened. So, you got up out of bed, and you tried to walk, even though I told you specifically to stay in bed. And then you fainted. I called the paramedics. They came by and they picked you up. And around that time, you passed out. Which gave me the scare of a lifetime. After that, you were rushed to the hospital and they put you on some antibiotics. They think it was just a stubborn infection. Which leads me to the part that I am not excited to tell you. In fact, I'm, I hate that I have to tell you this. But... Because of your symptoms and how long you've been experiencing this, your recovery time is going to be quite a while. And by quite a while, I mean you're going to be in the hospital for about two weeks, hon. Hey, what are you doing? No, you don't need to walk around. That's the opposite of what you should be doing. I've got a bunch of stuff from home that I brought. I could read to you if you want. Or we could pop in your favorite movie. No! Love, stop it! I know you hate it here, and I know you don't want to stay here for two weeks. But you need to rest. If not for yourself, then for me, okay? I've already had enough shock for today as it is. What do you mean you'll do it with or without my help? Okay, okay, fine. I will walk you around the unit, but only if you lean on me. No negotiations. Got it? Good. Good. All right. Take my hand, all right? Okay. One, two, three. There we go. You okay? Dizzy? No? Okay, that's good. Okay. Just take it slow, all right? You're too stubborn for your own good, you know that? 
God, if you weren't so sick, I would probably be pissed at you. I wouldn't. Because I love you. I'm just gonna pretend that your meds are making you so sassy and doing all the talking. The truth is... You scared me. Babe, you're like a whirlwind. You can't be stopped, and you're always causing some sort of a commotion. When you were sick, you were just so still. I hated it. So, listen. The next time you're sick, you're going to take care of yourself. And if you won't do it, then I'll make damn sure you do. Yeah, I guess your stubbornness has rubbed off of me. Babe, I'm serious. You need to take care of yourself, you hear me? Because you're everything to me. My whole world. I don't, I don't know if you heard me talking to you earlier, before you woke up. The doctor said that you could, but just in case you didn't, I want to tell you again, so I'm absolutely certain that you have heard me. I wanted to say I'm sorry for how I was speaking to you while you were back at home. I'm sorry for being so direct and strict, and if I came off as an asshole, I'm really sorry. I just, I, I hated seeing you in that state, and I didn't like that you were continuing to put more stress on your own body. I wanted you to get better. I didn't want you to make yourself worse. So when you ended up in the hospital, my brain started to go haywire and started imagining things that could happen to you. Even stuff that was completely impossible. Like, you coming back and not remembering me, or worse, dying. So, for that, I, I am so sorry for being so firm and very rude to you. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I am a sap. Now, come on, let's get you back into bed. No, you're not going to get out of this. But, if you're nice, maybe I'll come into bed with you and hold you for a bit. You're not gross. You're just sick. Wait, are you, are you seriously trying to make that argument? We've kissed like twice already. And besides, didn't you say it was hard to sleep if I wasn't in the bed with you? Yeah? Okay then, it's settled. Take it easy, alright? Let me help you. Come here. I've got you. It's alright. It's okay. You feel so good in my arms. I... I was afraid. I'm never afraid. You always call me your Superman, but... For a second, I... I felt useless. For the first time, I... Well, kryptonite. You can't scare me like that again. You promise? Okay. Good. Now close your eyes, okay? What? Sure, I can sing for you. What do you want me to sing? Something from a Pixar film? Okay. Uh, God, you are such a nerd. <laughs> it's okay, so am I. Okay, I got it. Close your eyes. Out there, there's a world outside of Yonkers. Way out there beyond this hick town, Barnaby. There's a slick town, Barnaby. Out there, full of shine and full of sparkles. Close your eyes and see it glisten, Barnaby. 
Listen, Barnaby. Put on your Sunday clothes. There's lots of world out there. Get out the brilliantine and dime cigars. We're gonna find adventure in the evening air. Girls in white and a perfume night where the lights are bright as the stars. Put on your Sunday clothes. We're gonna ride through town in one of those new horse-drawn open cars. We'll see the shows at Delmonico's and we'll close the town in a whirl. And we won't come home till we've kissed a girl.